Hi, it's Lightful Boxu, and today I'm going to be talking about the RX 580 2048 SP on the issues about crashing and having some issues with it. So I looked up the RX 580 2048 SP. I bought it off some website um, online, and then somehow the card works perfectly fine until it reached a certain temperature and it started to die like 90% of the time and it kind of pissed me off I thought oh maybe I need to repaste the card and I might fix this I tried repasting it I tried changing the thermal pads and it kind of worked a little bit but it still kept crashing on me like a lot so what I did is I searched some things uh, this video has been released three years ago some people are still making this video about fatal crashes this and that it could, I mean, the uh, repasting your card could help potentially, but it won't actually help you that much, in my opinion. Because what worked for me is I flashed my card. I just downloaded um, AMDV, uh, AMDB Flash. So if you go to the website, AMDB Flash, this one, 5.0567, the 5.0, the 5.0.567 uh, version has some missing executables in it. I have no idea how to use it. Um, but using the 3.15 version is okay. So I just went down. I looked up the 3.15. You can go for 3.20. You can go for 3.31 or whatever. You can download each one and find out which one works. But just go above 3.15 and it would casually work. So I came to the idea of flashing my card. And it's not that... I mean, it could potentially it could be crazy. I don't know. Potentially, no, no, no. Uh, it could be scary. So what I did is I downloaded the AM, AMDB Flash. See, I cannot open this one because this one is different. I downloaded off. I downloaded this off a video. This one, it's uh, AMD uh, pin mismatch error because that's what I'm getting. So normally, if I open another folder, wait, let me go this way. So if I, uh, hold on a minute. So let's say, let's pretend I'm using this one. I'm going to open up the AMDB flash, the normal one, not, not that one, sorry. This one. Okay, so when I look this up, there's a new BIOS that came out here. And it kind of weirded me out. So what I did is I searched the pin. This one, current BIOS 113580S8SAJ. You, you get the idea. So if I type that in, I would I would have found this thingy. Or you can just go to database, uh, VGA, BIOS collection, and just look it up. AMD, uh, my card was XFX. Card model was RX580. And bias version, this one, bus interface, it's the same thing. And my memory type was 8 gigabytes. And as you can see, there are many cards here, but they never mentioned 2048 SP, which is a, uh, which is a huge problem for me. So what I did is I just XFX, uh, fly, I looked it up on Reddit as well, 8 gigabyte uh, BIOS. So when I looked this up, uh, there are websites that came up. So this one actually came up. So I looked everything here and every part of this card. Or you can just open up GPU-Z and you can see the BIOS version, XFX Pine Group, uh, Device ID. You can find it or just, just base it off your model. Mine is very unverified because the card is from China, technically. It's only available in Philippines, you know, anywhere around the SEA region or Asia region. Uh, region. So when I looked at the override, um, this one, this card, goes above the limit of my card. So what I did is I just went back. I tried to look for the XFX card. So I just kept on finding ones that worked for me. So I tried my best to look for one, look for one that actually worked. So this one, this one actually got it right. Or you can just base it off whatever new BIOS came up. So let's say I'm going to look this one, 113 uh, RX 580, 2048, 113 uh, 580 S8 SH uh, F2 W90. So if I look that up, it goes here. 
which is the same thing. It's kind of weird. Um, okay. Oh, actually, never mind. I read it wrong. I went here. Either way, so this one, see the target uh, temperature is at 75. So I just press download it, and then I just load the image, and then I just, you know, flashed my card. But technically, for me, it kind of showed up the pin mismatch error. I'm going to keep the video unedited so you can, like, fix it yourself if you want to. So I just followed this uh, video. I downloaded the tools, which is this one. I named my file, and then they just asked me to open up my uh, CMD, run it as administrator. So if you can follow the video, just look this up or find any tutorials out there that could work for you. Mine actually had some issues with the pin error. But when I did this, it actually fixed stuff, and now my GPU doesn't crash anymore. Like, I can show you that if I go, if I run unit. Okay. Uh, why does that? Okay. Let's say I'm going to open this one. So I'm going to run the Unigen benchmark. Back then, before I, I flashed my card. My card instantly dies after running this for like three minutes. It just restarts itself and my card is like dead. It didn't die, it just restarted my PC. I'm just overreacting a little bit. But I'm what I'm saying is this, this thing helped me out a lot and I hope it would help you out as well. So my, my card is running at 1286 MHz. Uh, back, uh, there are some videos out there, they say that you can just potentially go negative 11, losing tons of performance. And I didn't want that, so I just said, no, I don't want to do that. I'm I'm just going to do this instead. My temperature is up, uh, around 72. I repasted my card. I changed the thermal pads and everything. And it, now it kind of works properly as it should be. And if I find the temperature rising around 85, 87... Well, my room is not that ventilated. I don't have like an air air conditioning in my room. So my card runs around 85, 84, but it's kind of okay. But when it reached 90, that's a concern. It's either like you have to play or just put some electric fan right by your computer or just straight up buy an air conditioner. Or maybe repasting your card would help. But now... Running this back then, if I hit 76, 77, my card starts artifacting and then it dies. It just kills itself. And now looking at this, I think I saved my GPU. Yeah, I think it no longer crashes. So if this video, um, if you follow this video and it kind of helped you out or you fixed your GPU, the same thing I did. Well, at least, can you guys uh, leave a subscribe or like like the video, man? I, I just want to share this with you because I've had this issue for a long time. So anyway, um, goodbye. <laughs>